Over the past few centuries, and likely before then, men harvesting peat in European bogs has struck up on remarkable land, to the peat cutters. No doubt frightening discoveries. More than a thousand bog bodies and skeletons have come to light, and scientists now have worked means to study the remains in such detail that they can, in a sense, resurrect these ancient people. Hundreds have been found over the last decades. We will show you details of the twelve most fascinating among them. The Gallic man lived round for 100 to 200 BC. He was found in County Galway, Ireland in 1821. He was discovered lying on his left side, draped in a skin cape. Beneath the cape, he was naked. Whether he once wore linen clothes, that have disappeared over time is unclear. He was anchored to the peat with two long wooden stakes, and round his neck was a band of willow rods likely used to strangle him. He was roughly 25 years old at the time. The Meany Braddon woman was found in County Donegal Island in 1978. The style of the woolen cloak in which she was wrapped dates this woman to the late 16th century distinguishing her from the more common nine eight bog bodies. She was in her late twenties or early thirties when she died, given that she was interred in a peat bog. In what was likely an unconsecrated grave, she may have been a murder victim or a suicide. The old Kruger man lived 350 to 175 BC, found in Ireland, in County Offaly in 2003. Old Kruger man fits the classic profile of an iron age bald body. He died a gruesome death, suffering repeated cuts and stabs before he was dismembered. Experts debate whether he was a sacrifice to the gods, a criminal being punished, or perhaps both. His torso, the only part of him recovered, reveals that he was exceptionally tall for his time, standing roughly six feet six inches. The Lindo man must have lived between 100 BC and 100 AD. He was found near Manchester, England in 1984, examined by more than 50 experts. Lindo man is likely one of the most scrutinized corpses in the world. He was in his 20s, and unlike most bog bodies, wore a beard and mustache. He had mild arthritis, but good teeth and well manicured nails. His death was far worse than a simple execution. He was struck on the head, had his throat cut, and was throttled with a rope, made of animal sinew, perhaps to increase the bleeding, before being thrown face down into a watery. The Amcot's Moor woman lived between 200 and 400 AD. She was 1747 found in Lincolnshire, England unearthed long before the modern era of scientific inquiry into and preservation of bog bodies. The only remnant of Amcot's small woman is now her left shoe. The design of the leather shoe dates her to the late Roman period in Europe. Her right shoe and hand was sent to the Royal Society in London, soon after she was discovered, but like many bog body finds before the 19th century, they have disappeared without a trace. The Egg Girl was found in Drenthe, the Netherlands in 1897. A small percentage of bog bodies are children. Egg Girl appears to have been strangled and stabbed at the age of 16. Some experts believe she was selected for sacrifice in part because of her awkward gait and. Curve spine CT scans revealed she had scoliosis. Other CT scans of her skull aided the reconstruction of her face. Her long fair hair was preserved in the peat, but on half of her head it had been cut off. Other bog bodies also had their hair cut when they were killed. She must likely lived between 100 BC and the year 50 AD. The Wearing Men lived 100 BC to 50 AD found in Dranthi, the Netherlands in 1904. They were long called the Wearing Couple and thought to be a man and a woman. Experts now speculate these two men may have been brothers, lovers, or father and son. One of them suffered a large chest wound, 
and his intestines spilled out when he was laid in his grave. According to the Roman historian and Strabo, some Iron Age Europeans tried to divine the future by reading a victim's entrails. The wrens were a man found near Kiel, Germany in 1871. The year the wrens were a man was discovered. A self-taught German scholar named Johanna Mestov published the first catalogue of such finds. She interpreted Renz were a man as a murder victim. He was 40 to 50 years old when he died likely. From a blow to his head, near his body were the remnants of a woolen cloak and a skin cape. His caretakers in the 19th century smoked his body in order to preserve it. The tribe of Germany. Found near Winderby, Germany in 1952 was the Winderby girl. She lived also between the year 1 and the year 200 AD. It's unclear exactly how she died. But given that she was merely 13 to 14 years old, and that she was buried in a bog with a woolen band covering her eyes, it was likely from unnatural causes. Only five yards from her body, the corpse of a man lay buried. And some experts suggest that the two were punished for an adulterous affair, like the eyed girl. Windeby girl had part of her hair cut off at the time of her death. The torrent man who lived between 400 and 300 BC is arguably the most prominent among the bog bodies. He was found in a house Denmark in 1950. He is renowned, even beloved for the gentle expression on his impeccably preserved face. The noose found his neck makes clear that like other Iron Age bog bodies, he was killed. But following the violent act, he was carefully laid in a restful pose, like a sleeping child. Last on our list for today is the Graubale Man. He lived between 100 BC and 100 AD in Aarhus, Denmark, where he was found in 1952. The Graubale Man was carefully excavated under the supervision of archaeologist and bog body specialist P.V. Glob, and has become one of the most x-rayed and analyzed corpses in the world. Before his throat was cut, Grub Ale Man ate a soup, least with an hallucinogenic fungus perhaps intended to induce a trance-like state in a ritual. That might have included in his sacrifice. There you have it. The 12 most fascinating bog or swamp bodies of the Iron Age. Let me thank you for a tuning in on Witty Champ's History Channel. I hope you liked this little video. If so, please like, subscribe, and leave us a comment below. If you hit the notification bell, then you will be notified every time we post a new video.